Nightmares. Mom used to tell me about them. Didn't think they were actually real. Nightmares? Yeah. They give people nightmares. Or they are. <laughs> Touch the water. Why? Do you know what is under the surface? No. It's pitch black. Then do not touch the water. Now we'll get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here, doing all this. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Or even my own beds. You were not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that! It's Thor! Thor? God of Thunder. That's right! I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur? An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? Uh... Okay. What is that? 
Is that a wall? Made out of... What are those? Don't answer that. I see something just sitting there in the middle of a lake. I see rooms there, this chest. I can't quite make it out. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? see a lot more of him now. The water dropped, then the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it, and who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looks pretty big to me. Keep it up!
on. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! Oh, good. I was hoping we might explore a little. When we wish to continue our journey, we know to return here. is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. 
I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? One more for the collection. Boy. Yes, sir. Kavagia. Be ready. I don't believe it. Are you alive? Another spirit. Yes, another spirit. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? I'm not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. Boy, 
Sorry, what did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can't we This just... is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Again. What do you want? To thank you. So you died after? Indeed. Have you seen other men? Only the one standing. Useless. Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. You should look for more like this.
Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. the shot. I can't read these either, but they're different from the others. I've never seen a waterfall so big.
that was difficult. God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, Spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of them. Unlikely. Is there something we can- For a reward of- If you bring down the step. Why do you hate Thor so much? My father passed. My mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. First we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. Drunken rage killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I no! lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come boy, we have a statue to destroy. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue. Boy. Yes, sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Will his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Good. of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. Hey Brock, you ever hear of a Dwarf King? I suppose you're talking about Motsignir? Some bitch ruled over the humans once lived in this area. Built itself a castle just north of here. A Dwarven castle? <laughs> What's it like? You got yourself a pair of eyes and legs, ain't you? Might want to stock up before you head that way, though. Old Motsignir's known for collecting all manner of killerin' creatures. Not sure who's looking after them now.
Best of luck with all the rampaging. <laughs> What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyway. Focus up, boy! Boy. Yes, sir. Curse the Dwarf King. Bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. What does it say? Veda Dowther. It means... Hunt to death. Great. Begin to build statues this big. Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak one. Somewhere.
he planning on doing this himself? This easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. so much trouble for us because that is their nature but with all that power you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people and yet the gods continue to spread misery this is life boy Dragon? I've never seen one so close. <laughs> Atreus, to me! Ha! <laughs> 
I am aware of it, boy. is dangerous. I guess so. But it sounds so sad. Dragon Shrine. Mother had a story about three chain dragons in Midgar. The shrine must be related. There were three rooms on the pedestal. We've got to find the other two and free them. It does not concern us. I know, but it's what Mother would have wanted. And it just seems right. Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them against you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Eager boy, it may attack us, and we will be forced to kill it. Oh, good point. I'll be ready. <laughs> we will see.
It was a pretty big settlement. No longer. Just give the word. Ugh! <sighs> 
Here. Boy. Sir. Huh. Neat. What's the... Say, boy. True. It means to believe or to have faith in. So they still have faith in their king? Even after he got so many of them killed? It is a command to have faith despite his failures. That's her father, and all the animals she hunted. And the last panel. Her father again. Both of them. In the snow. Must have been impressive back when he ruled. Dragons can be raised or not. Atreus to me.
Nice shot. Please don't eat us. Boy, prepare yourself.
Say, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself afoul of a scruffy fella about yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow? <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted a seer business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fight. Or a fight and brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual complimented dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. Something for the boy? What next? Off you. So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? statue stands no longer, spirit. And my bond to this realm's... Off he goes. Brave God. Want to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. What did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No. But perhaps the dwarves can. Come, boy. Here, boy. Hold on.
Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. All right. Can you read it? Yes, sir. Uh, these runes read death inside. Hey, bro, you found something interesting. Did you now? Well, color me interesting. Tyr would have been pleased as peaches knowing these offerings were being turned to armor. Did you know him? What was he like? Never you mind, boy. Tyr's dead. Best not to dig up the past. The dwarf speaks wisely. For once. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smart, you'll so, find it. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Dwarven. But no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh.
not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No. Go fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Crazy. How are we supposed to kill something made of rock? Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused. Look for a weak point. Yes, sir.
quiet. They make no sudden movement. Against them! Where's the rest of him? Ashes, most likely. Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring him back to Brock. I'm not ready. Read it. Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. Spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised.
yourself, boy. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxie. Take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvaris uh, had a bit of magic uh, inside for the growth. Can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Sure, that'll keep you out of trouble. Boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Boy, over here. Sir. Vega. spirit who wants something from us. How What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even... We cannot undo you, Mr. I know that. Is there any... I... Oh. Wait! Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother. But it was never my concern, nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. This has been here. A very long time. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you too? Brock? But how did you None of your fucking business? Now get in here. I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. Aren't we talking to watch? You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh! Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that.
Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. I knew it! We are blowing the horn! No. We are testing your resolve. I have resolve. A bunch of it. I won't blow into it if you don't. I won't blow into it if you don't. through to the mountain I'm ready almost if we could just find the other pieces of the language this I still can't read these. I still can't read these. Another one here. Look! It's the World Serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! 
Or will bite him. Looks like. What is that? It smells awful. Poison. Translate those moose behind me. Oh, what were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching me something. Yes. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say... Madurin Sam Gengur. Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Sindri. Don't touch me. What? Hey, I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here. People left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um... Come. Coming.
I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are.
Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting her. It would serve you to stop talking. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed.
Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? You must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Greyfa. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages. Even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to talk. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Theosa! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. 
What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Align the wheel onto the track. <laughs> Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. <laughs> what? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead, we heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait. So did the Giants or the Elves build Tear Stump? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible.
Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the Realm Travel Bridge will align, and the Realm Between Realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> 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 
To restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <laughs> I think you killed it. Look up there! Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Look here. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it. Why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. attacking us for. We didn't do anything. <laughs> More will come. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? Our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but the dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't make. I probably shouldn't let my brother lay hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Be seeing ya!
Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Nothing. Later, this one you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. <clears throat> Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. <clears throat> it's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. <laughs> Atreus, here.
So, what do you mean I see with the eyes of a child? In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something. I think. Prepare yourself! <laughs> problem with us. We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the boat. said mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Oh, we will finish that later. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish rune. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep. It's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. Father? Yes? The voices I heard, uh, it was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard, 
mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Be ready. What? That was worth it.